All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPad mini into a TV or an external monitor. In this video, I'm going to use a computer monitor, but this is exactly the same for the TV. Now, the thing is, I'm going to be doing a number of videos like this one because, as we can see here, I have many devices that can do this job. Some of them do it really well, some don't, and some of them are just perfect for the job i will be going through these things in future videos i just thought i would let you see this stuff just so you know exactly what i do with these things with the ipad and basically i've tested tons of stuff so as a for instance we've got docks here that plugs straight into the side via usb-c then we've got kind of like little kind of usb-c hubs on fly cables there's another usb-c hub there there's another usb-c hub there there's another usb-c hub there then also oh there's another usb-c hub just there then on top of that we have things like just straight cables that plug straight in there's another straight cable and then there is another usb-c hub now for this video Oh, wait a minute. There's also a cable there to go straight into a uh, display port as well. But for this video, the simplest way to do this is with a straight cable, which is USB-C on one end and HDMI on the other. And now this one is a cable by cable creation. And this cable is brilliant. It's the simplest way and it is fantastic. Now, what I'm going to do is just explain something about this particular cable and do the setup on it. Now, what I will do at the end of this video, I am going to play a full game on Call of Duty Mobile. And I will be doing that initially to show you it on the screen or on the monitor that I use but i will also then do a video screen capture of it so you will see exactly how good the quality is anyway let me just get into this and i'll show you what this cable is all about okay so just a little bit about this cable then and like i've already said this is by cable creation on one end here it has got USB-C and on the other end here it has got HDMI. The cable itself is 1.83 meters long which is there about 6 feet. And very importantly with this cable it is DP Alt Mode compatible which is basically DisplayPort Alternate Mode version 1.4. And that is very important because I will quickly show you a cable that looks similar to this one but doesn't do the job properly. So this particular cable is perfect for this particular job now to use this cable with the ipad mini we simply take the usb-c end of the cable there and put it into the usb-c port on the ipad like this and then once we do that we will see a little blue icon pop up in the corner top right on the ipad which has got like a little usb connection on it and that's telling us that we have now got that cable connected and then we just take the hdmi end of the cable and plug that into a spare hdmi my socket on a computer monitor or a tv or any display that will accept hdmi in this instance i'm going to be using a computer monitor now before i show you the cable creation usb c to hdmi cable working i'm just going to show you quickly a cable which although it sends the signal to the tv it is not working correctly and i'll explain why now at the top here, we'll see black bars, one black bar at the top and another black bar at the bottom there. So basically what's happening there, the picture is being shrunk further into the TV. The black bars at the side here, so one there and then one on the other side, they are normal because what's happening is the iPad's picture is in a aspect ratio which is not the same as the monitor. So what happens here, the iPad's picture just gets scaled into the center of a 16.9 frame which is what the monitor is. However, like I've just said, we are losing picture space from the top and the bottom so this particular cable doesn't work correctly now unfortunately this is a cable by Syntec, which is a great cable, but it doesn't work for this particular job properly. Now, the thing is, I can't be telling people all the cables that don't work. However, if I find some stuff that doesn't work, I might mention it in videos when I show stuff that does work. Now, what I'm going to do is switch over onto the cable creation cable, and we can see exactly why this one is a better cable. Okay, so I've now switched over onto the cable creation USB-C to HDMI cable, and what we should 
should have noticed immediately is that the picture has now gotten bigger onto the monitor. The reason for that is, is because now we are not losing any black space at the top and the bottom of the picture. So no letterbox. And what's happening here, the cable creation cable is allowing the iPad picture to be like put to the TV or the monitor. So it fills the full height. We still, however, have these black bars, one down this side and one down the other side. Now that's letterboxing. And like I've just explained, it has to be there because right now the picture that we're looking at, which is coming from the iPad is the exact same shape or exact same aspect ratio as the iPad screen is so therefore it still needs black bars but as you will notice these black bars have now become thinner and that's because we are using the full height of the screen now obviously at this point you can do whatever you want there you go you can just see me twiddling stuff there so you can be web browsing watching videos doing whatever you could have a keyboard and a mouse plugged in I will show stuff like that because I will lead these videos up to my desktop setup for the iPad mini which is quite awesome because it's got like you know keyboard mouse monitor uh, like you know web connection via a cable and stuff to the router all kinds of stuff external like USB things storage headphones microphones all that kind of stuff but for now you can see exactly what you could do with a setup like that now what I'm going to do, because I'm dying to do this, is to get into a game of Call of Duty. So give us a second while I switch all this over. Okay, so I've now switched over to my PC that does all my HDMI game capturing. And so I'm obviously still using the same cable, but this time I am using it to feed my capture card. And as we can see here, I'm also using a PS4 controller, which is pretty neat, because look at this. You can actually like navigate around the screen and stuff like that. So here's the thing. At this point you will already have known what it was that you wanted to do with this and hopefully this video has confirmed that however if you're into gameplay or if you're just some old dude who should know better and should stop acting like a child like me or if indeed if you're tone from tones adventures you might like this bit now <laughs> right <laughs> anyway yeah tone let us know what you think of this buddy i think i'm getting better at call of duty so what it is i'm going to launch into call of duty right now now the thing is i will speed through this bit here i'm going to try and get into a ranked game if not i'll speed past that and then i will just go into like a normal multiplayer game, game. 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 Okay, so that took a little while trying to get into this ranked game, but I'm here now. Let's see what damage I can try and do, if any.
enemy. Okay, so our team won there. <laughs> awesome. I just want to see what my final score is here. Now, the other thing to bear in mind with this game is that the iPad mini was set on absolute maximum graphic settings. And I think it was probably maintained in 60 frames per second all the way through there as well, which is pretty cool. Yay, look at that. I got the high score. <laughs> uh, the other thing to also bear in mind here is the maximum output as well over HDMI when using the uh, iPad mini Gen 6 2021 is 1440p. So although you'll see in this video is in 4K, it was upscaled to 4K. So basically there you go, that's probably everything you need to know about the way that you plug a cable into the iPad mini 6 and play games and stuff like that. Also a good example of what Call of Duty Mobile looks like on the iPad mini 6 playing at full res and all the rest of it, bang on. Okay, there's going to be links in the description for this cable, the iPad, and a bunch of Apple stuff. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel, getting all over the bell notification icon, all that funky stuff. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.